Hello everyone! I'm back with little man. <laughs> um, I wanted to share with you a little bit about some of the freezer cooking I've been doing this week. I know this probably seems a bit random, but I've been feeling like life has gotten so busy with homeschool and just other commitments and different things that we want to be out and about doing. So I did some research and some shopping and I just want to share with you what I came up with for some freezer cooking this week. I'm not going to show you the process of how I made everything this time, but I just wanted to maybe show you some just to give you ideas for your freezer. Anyway, let's see here. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Um, so, let's see here. In here, on the top, I just bought a bag of meatballs. I was gonna make my own meatballs, like they're kind of up there. Um, so that, you know, I can throw that in our spaghetti because the kids absolutely love spaghetti and meatballs 10 times over, higher than, um, just regular meat sauce. So I like to do the meatballs. Then I've got over here, let's see if I can get to it. If you can see that bag there with the tortellini and the meatballs in it, that's actually a soup pack that is like a turkey meatball with tortellini soup. It's got spinach. So I attached a bag of spinach next to it with, I just stapled mm. it to the top. And I got two bags of those in there. So I just throw those in the Instant Pot and add some broth and there we go there's our soup then over here i did beef and bean burritos today i did uh, about two meals worth so those are just bagged in ziploc bags six per bag then right above that we have oh goodness um that is a pan of was that chili i'll look at that in a minute so we got cowboy beef with rice, another cowboy beef with rice, that's a crock pot meal I do, chicken casserole with stuffing on top, yum yum, some taco uh, meat that's all made up with shells above it, and then down here I've got more taco meat, and in these freezer bags I did chicken breast with barbecue sauce for like a pulled um, barbecue chicken. I like to make that for pizza topping and also just for like something with I got the whole wheat buns here those freeze really nice then under there I can sure you can see that little spicier package that's chicken and um well excuse me one of the packages is <laughs> um like an Italian seasoning dressing I just dumped in with the chicken and then the other one is speedy marinade that I will just thaw that out and either throw it on the grill or put it in my crock pot and serve it with like potatoes or something. I also did quite a few batches of muffins. Let's see if you can see that or not. There's the muffins. We got pumpkin bread muffins. I did. I had a ton of strawberries that were frozen that just really needed to go in my freezer. So I did strawberry muffins. Yes, those are the best. I did blueberry muffins and pumpkin muffins. So anyways, upstairs overnight, I cooked some, um, some extra meat and made carnita meat. So right now that's actually cooling in the pan before I put it in the freezer. And next, tonight I am working on breakfast burritos, eggs, sausage, cheese, yeah. yummy. Yeah. And so we'll have like another breakfast item in the freezer. But anyway, just over this past three or four days, I've basically made like 16 meals that are prepped and ready just to throw together and dinner's ready. So I hope this inspires you and I hope you get a chance to try some of the ideas.